Okay. I mean, they look like aliens. They're... I, I didn't make these. These are not... I, I take no credit for these. These are, uh... These are default roll icons. Three and a half. We got live, by the way. Okay. Out. Hold of you a second. Welcome to Dinner with Marco. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Now, I understand why they do them as top down because it's like a top down perspective, but I just think that any top down rendering of a character just looks dumb. Yeah, like dumb. you can't make them not look dumb. It looks yeah. really bad. I mean, even when you've got your minis out, you're not ever looking at them actually top down. Right. Like even in awesome. physical space. Right. You're always viewing them at like you know, yeah. at, at most three quarters, right? Three quarters. Um, yeah. So in any case, that's not. Uh, I don't like these, but I didn't want to go through the trouble of making icons for all of these guys. Um, so can somebody recap okay, uh, hey. Marco's dinner from last week before we get started? <laughs> yeah. Believe, this so Marco's dinner from last week was, I believe, a pizza. Um, <laughs> that one was like five to ten minutes late. <laughs> it was actually on time last week. I think I was. I think I was. I think I badly no, squeaked by. No. Nope. Okay. Never mind. Nope. You, you said you were going to be, and then you weren't. Uh, okay, so we do need you to drag your M and M out onto the battlefield. Maybe I'll just do it for you. Okay, so copy of Dave. I'll rename, I'll rename everything in a second as soon as I'm done eating. Oh, nope. Okay, there he is. And uh, there's your manifestation. Sexy manifestation. Yeah. <laughs> this this sexy oblate spheroid. Hmm. <laughs> What's her deck size again? I don't know. What's the name of your character sheet? Um, uh, 18. Where's Mike? They just look scuffed. I don't want to make them huge, but like they just look horrible. <laughs> I, maybe I'll just make them huge. Like that's, that's my solution to everything. Just make it, it huge. <clears throat> so these guys only occupy one space, but I'm going to make them gigantic so that they can be seen. Okay. They All do right. actually look better. Large. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, I guess we can get started. So this, uh, the the point of this series of uh, of little mini adventures is just to make sure that like none of the roles is broken. So like I just want to identify potentially degenerate strategies. Okay. Right. Um, and make sure that like. You know, if you make a group of, for example, all healers that you just like can't, that you don't, you don't become vulnerable and just like break the action right. economy and everything is ruined forever, right? Um, or you know, like you know, the basically that the, there's nothing that is obviously degenerate. So I. I I think that that's not the case. I think that you want to have the mix in your party, um, but this is just kind of like a sanity check for that. Um, I think there is a possibility that you guys will end up losing these these battles. Okay. So I, I didn't try to make them too hard or too easy. I did just kind of like a very very middle of the road series of three encounters, um, and then the other the other piece of this was just to give people an opportunity to look for, you know, kind of look at, look at some different classes, try
try out some different character concepts and see if they could kind of realize that character concept at level 12, which is supposed to be kind of like the level where you have gone through the whole tree one time, you've got your, you know, your, your level 10 uh, epiphany and you've got like, like you, you should have a well defined and like, reasonably developed character at that point so sure. if you can't if you can't achieve pretty much the thing you want to achieve at level 12 that's you know if, assuming you don't want to make superman right like that, that that's something that at least should be on the radar as, as needing to be addressed yeah so um you be most of the way there yeah you, you should you should pretty much you know be able to get the kind of thing you're trying to achieve yeah all right so we'll just start, um, and you can talk about kind of what your character concept is, um, and how that fit with your like class and, and what you pick. Just very briefly, we don't have to go into exhaustive detail. Sure. Uh, but I guess we'll start with Todd because he went to the trouble of making a picture. Nice. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I have the healing flagellant. Um, so I was thinking. Um, I was trying to do kind of the maybe think of like Wolverine, like a Wolverine mm -hmm. type of character, where um, or maybe someone that um, like Madcap, where like doesn't feel pain. You know, I was trying to think of the pain and healing kind of combination. Um, so I picked this more feral kind of half loony kind of character, right? That's like has this weird. Um, tolerance for pain, and and so it's created some kind of, you know, psychological manifestations. Um, nice. I don't know. And did uh, you? So, go ahead. I was just gonna ask, and like, what 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 were the kind of notable talents that you picked to uh, kind of support that? Okay. Uh, well, um, I picked. I'll just kind of run through them real quick. Uh, sure. Well, obviously there's pain suppression um, as part of that, as whole that whole concept of how dealing with pain. Um, I did kind of have some awkward uh, sets. Like I took, um, every, oh yeah, well not exactly, like because I ended up just kind of explaining them along, right? So social chameleon was kind of my background pick, like my... Um, my uh, public ID, right? And then Pain Suppression was kind of the first like superpower mm -hmm. style pick. Um, the character is supposed to be like um, like super agile, super strong. So this, um, effort, I thought, and with this like kind of weird serum, um, so I picked Effortless Aptitude for that reason where it's just better at things, right, than a regular person. Mm -hmm. um, Bond and Anguish. Uh, it was that, or I don't know what my other choice was. I don't think it was piercing. Oh, it was the other choice was like piercing shriek? I... Uh, maybe. That sounds yeah, right. I don't know. It's I was kind of iffy on that. I just, yeah, I think piercing shriek was right. Um, I went ahead and took bond and anguish, uh, and then healing factor to kind of fit into that whole. Um, rough and tumble in your face, uh, you know, Wolverine kind of person. And then the last mm -hmm. one, uh, oh, it's just a, um, it's just an option to repeat the attack, like a damage taking kind of thing. I don't know how that'll work. Okay. Because I have like the, the healing factor and stuff like that. So, um, sorry about that. <laughs> Did not mean to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, but I I didn't. The other the other one was flying. Yeah. So flying didn't fit, right? So I was like, well, flying doesn't fit me. So I'm taking this kind of other attack card. Right. I like it. Okay. There you go. Um, Matt. So uh, the, I made uh, the spiritualist that is uh, what is Marco said makes a bunch of idiots. Um, <laughs> So uh, I was reading through the character description or the, the class description. Um, uh, my character is called the Everyman. Um, you 
Called what? He, the Everyman. Okay, nice. He, he believes that everybody is part of the same consciousness. Okay. And is nice. just not aware of that. And he is a manifestation of that consciousness. Um, so a lot of his powers kind of revolve around that idea that he is everybody and everybody is him. Um, so for talents, I took know it all, which is just he's able to access other people and use their knowledge to do this sort of thing. Um, his next talent is called uh, harmonious contemplation, which um, you he can manifest in an ally and have that ally take an action um, that doesn't count against that ally's action mm. action limit. Um, the reason why luck is my luck is five. Uh, the reason for that is I took the second Whoa. chance talent. Yeah. So oh, nice. You can make. You can basically again that idea of he's that he's the bad guy as well. Okay. You know what? You didn't really want to do that. Just try again. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's the Mister Rogers of. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, he's got a bunch. I took a bunch of controllery talents. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I took a fundamental aversion, which basically makes it so a target can't attack somebody um for the second to last tier i couldn't find anything that really slotted in with the idea um i took fresh aid preparation just to sort of it, it seemed like a pretty good talent um and then for the last one uh vicarious impulse which is again can manifest in a target and if the target is shaken he controls its next activation mm. during the shaken condition nice so, um, yeah, so that's it. Okay. Very... Allies and enemies, by the way. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, that's pretty we, cool. We very rarely have enemies that are shaken. We pretty much have right. enemies that are. <laughs> so. The first time uh, for everything. Yeah. It may synergize with things, but I don't know if necessarily with this group it will. But yeah, so yeah that's, right. that's the everyman. He's, uh, cool. he is you and you are he. Yeah. All right, that. sweet. All right, Steven. <laughs> okay, so my character is named, um, like, his given name is Ignis Lucerna. Um, but most folks just call him Gabriel. And he's basically a cult leader. Like, he doesn't he doesn't have a cult, but he has that kind <laughs> of vibe, right? Right. So, <laughs> he's an up-and-comer he gets, in the cult yeah, world. Yeah. <laughs> like cult leader vibes um so i've got social chameleon because like whoever i'm around i can kind of schmooze um i was basically hit by one of those like weird quake uh particle beams directly in my head and it made me like weirdly like empathetic and sort of enlightened and in a way that really appeals to people so you know when i'm around people i can kind of listen to their problems and, and make them feel better um i've also got inner light so you know lots of pristine radiance casting um but this also means that I can influence people on my own team. So, like, if I want you to, I can make you attack again. Um, because, you know, you're part of my... Uh, you've, you've been subsumed by my influence. Um, and that also gives me effortless aptitude, which is not... Like... Huh. This is not real aptitude, if that makes sense. Like, it's real in terms of game mechanics, but this is basically just me, like, bullshitting Faking as hard it. as I can. Yeah, again, yeah. it's the whole cult leader thing. I believe I'm entirely enlightened. I believe I have all of the an- answers. And so I can just, like, effortlessly pick up skills um, because because people believe me. Okay. Um, and then Pilgrim's Passage, same idea. I can move people around. Um, and Controlled Chaos allows me to, like, you know, play around with my deck a little bit. Yeah. And uh, okay. Degree of Cautery, I can do more tele- teleportation stuff and healing people. Okay. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so, 
I came up with the character concept. Uh, it, it is not very clear to me how this character exactly heals people, but basically, <laughs> um, the idea is that my my character uh, is. I've ever seen Naruto that he can make those illusory doubles, except that like they look and attack normally, but then when you attack them, they disappear into a puff of smoke. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, sure. But only like once okay. instead of making like you know a kajillion. And so I rounded it up with like a, a bunch of uh, other uh, um, things that uh, Naruto were themed. <laughs> no, not Naruto themed, but like would feel like at home uh, with. Uh, uh, somebody that could be a ninja, so like I have uh, um, gecko grip to walk on walls. I have double time to uh, to walk fast, uh, um, and uh, I have uh, ways to attack. Um, and I, and I have like other ways to attack. I attack numerous people, like my medic infection. That's the idea, and just like firing off a bunch of shurikens at once. Um, All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I like it. I like that we have healing Naruto here. Okay. <laughs> it's not clear how that leads to me healing people, but I'm assuming I'm just cheering them on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, healing doesn't have to actually be like you don't have to be like magically mending people's wounds, right? Yeah. It can be you can be boosting their morale. Yeah, I'm I'm just going to be um, annoying and telling people to believe in things. It's fine. Okay. Uh so with that, so yeah, I mean you, you can let me know how that goes. You know, it sounds uh, like you, people took a good diversity of of choices again, um, and this, despite the the comment that we had last last time, that probably you wouldn't take social chameleon the first time through. Two people took it in, in a game where they expected to have no social interaction. So <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all right. Um, okay, so. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna basically dive right into it. So you are, you've all been captured and tossed into an alien arena. Um, oh, there's and oh, I don't need these ones. Yeah, these are duplicates. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, there are these bigger, uh, scarier looking aliens down here uh, that have like these big sword things. Uh, and then up top, there are uh, a bunch of smaller aliens that have like little little blasters. Uh, I'm blast you with. The Josh, I can't control myself. Okay, well then, which <laughs> I'll delete. I'll delete the two copies of you that there are. Okay, and you can drag them out. Oh, hold on! I touched my Siri button. You sorry, that was both. Good. Just too much of a Your laptop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So everybody is actually in the same activation this time because I don't think anybody took into this. Uh, I mean, is this the yellow thing like an actual wall, or can we just go through it? Yeah, that's like sand. So you're in like a big sand pit. So that's yeah. You're currently in difficult, difficult terrain there. Uh, and the gray area on like the top half of the map is a raised platform, so it's like eight feet up. Um, and then the black circles with the dark centers, those are columns, like floor okay. to ceiling. So those are those are blocking line of sight. Okay. All right. We're all in the same so, spot. Uh, yep, you're all you all get to go, <clears throat> and they all get to go. I'm the healer, so I should wait for you all. So that way. <laughs> yeah. Right. When I, when I wail in vortex, am I am I taking extra damage for difficult terrain? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like the it's the movement that it would take. Yeah. Okay, that seems fine. How many cards are we drawing? Do you want to wait for them to Five. close in and then? No, yeah, it's probably I, better so I don't hurt myself too much. I can go. Um, okay. As soon as I, I, I need to reread a couple of things about 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Even. Yes, right. Um, How much can a manifestation move? You got a speed, right? They teleport to a new space and range, basically, when you activate. Oh, okay. All right, so they can move. Okay. Uh, All right. So, wait a second. Honey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Connecting two legal origins of your attack. Okay. So, potentially, I would put myself here. And my manifestation here is that less than fifty feet. Well, there's a. I don't know. Use the measuring tool. Oh no! Wait, there's a stupid column in the middle. Never mind. It's ten squares, right? It's fifty feet. Yeah, but there's a column, yeah. so I don't have line of sight anyway. You know, mm. it's like way over ten squares. Uh, yeah, it was like well over fourteen. It's like twenty squares. No, oh, is it? Um, I'm gonna put my manifestation here. I can I use my manifestations as the origins of my attacks, right? Yep. Yes. Yes. Uh, I will mind into matter this idiot using my manifestation. Okay. Uh, uh, make an attack roll. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. It seems pretty good. <laughs> I would describe it as. Uh, <laughs> Sufficient. Um, what does my crit even do? It's an extra 14. So they take uh, a good 30 damage. Nice. Okay. Uh, and... Uh, bad. It's bad for them. And then you teleport into their space. Whoop. Yep. <laughs> okay. Anyone else going to try to go? Yep. Before they do. Um, um, what do we got? Where am I? Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to attack this guy right here. Um, with some sort of ranged attack that I can totally do. That I have complete confidence that I can do. Um, I mean, we're all range characters, right? I'm assuming. No, I guess the flagellant isn't, but yeah, yeah, flagellant definitely isn't. Is that is that guy within 25 of me? No, it's 30. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Well, I'll move up blue? to there. Okay. Everybody spread out as far as possible, <laughs> <laughs> so that none of our pristine radiances overlap. To be fair, you're the only one with pristine radiances. What? I got, I got my ass hanging <laughs> out here. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> guiding light. Oh, God, how does this work? Oh, I also Sorry, needed to put things. Yep. Oh. And, yep. Well, the range on that is really short. I didn't realize that. Well, it's because you can do it through a manifestation, I think. Oh, come on. Where's right. the thing that lets me do a cool thing? Hang on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the ranges are all fake. Oh, okay. The you points create, don't matter. Whenever yeah. you play a card face up, you may draw and discard a card. Okay. I knew that was the thing. So I played a card face up, which means I can draw a card and discard a card, which is lovely. Um... Mm -mm. What do you do? Okay. Oh, that's right. I can, I can do that. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm going to play Guiding Light. This is against Expertise. Um, and I am targeting that guy I indicated earlier. Hmm. And I'm rolling it up. <clears throat> uh, 11 versus expertise right uh yep. that is insufficient dang that would be a glance okay so this guy is gonna take um nine damage nine damage. right in the macro yep so. um okay 
Matt, That's smart, Todd. And allies within my pristine radiance gain a plus one, but I have no pristine radiance yet. You have no one, yeah. Um, I'm going to move a manifestation to here. And then I'm going to do the same shtick uh, Marco did with his and just uh, play mind over matter. No, no, mind over matter is closer to the other guy, not not farther away. We want to like try to regroup, not to be, continue to be spreading out. I want to move him farther away from us. No, but I want to, if you if you move it closer, we can start aligning belief in and hitting two of them. Don't forget about the just do your thing, man. Guns. But yeah, you do okay. your thing. Thanks. Mine never matter. Hmm. Well, that probably is a miss. It's ten versus that is a uh, miss. Might. Okay, so glance is six. Okay. Uh, and nothing. Yeah, you know, that's an only an on hit effect. Okay. So uh, that's it for me. That's my turn. Okay. Herp, herp a derp. Todd? Hmm. Okay. I will move on, let's see, 10, 20, 30 to here. And then I'll vortex to there. Do, 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 do. Play this face down. A vortex. All right. I take half, round it down. So half of 15 is uh, seven. Mm hmm. Oops. Okay, here and here. Seven. Okay, and then I. Back. Eighteen is good. All right. All right so twelve That's damage. Well. Okay. Uh, so these guys are then going to do their thing. Um, I guess this one will. Well, let's see. Let these chumps up top go first. Okay, so this one, uh, starting from the left, hmm. uh, uh, we'll have two shots. Uh, we'll have one. Well, I guess we'll have one shot at the green M and M to start with. Uh, so it's going to be thirteen versus expertise on the green M and M. It's a roll of six. So, 13 versus expertise is a clan, so. Okay. Is uh, that, that destroy an... your... I I have no clue. <laughs> How does that work? It, if it, it takes damage, if, it's, if it's, it's destroyed, it takes... if it takes damage. Oh, then I don't think I have any damage resistance at all, right? Okay. So, okay. I think it's destroyed. Okay. Ooh. I feel like I had something once, but I don't remember what it is. Yeah, I think you, there are things you that you can take once. that make them more robust. Yeah. If they're out, I didn't see them. Uh, oh, yeah, like a vitality. I had like a vitality buffer. Like if they had to have more damage than what my vitality was or something like that. Yeah, you should read Anyways. read the ability once on your character sheet. During <laughs> Doesn't say anything. Uh, you may not have taken it. Could have been a thing that happened at a higher level. Yeah, could be. Anyway. Maybe it's just a word okay. on your only thing. Because, the, because the, there aren't any... Like, the talents are different, right? We don't have the specializations. So, like, maybe it's a specialization. At the level, you do have the level 10 option. Yeah, but right. the level, but that this is an, uh, I, it wasn't one of my options, I don't think. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so the other one is going to take a shot at, uh, the other one who's kind of like over on that side of the pillar is going to take a shot at the yellow M&M &M over there. Uh, okay. uh, boop. Also 13 uh, versus aim. That's a hit. Okay, and it is destroyed. All right. Um, we've got two over here. We're going to do one at the yellow M&M &M and one at actual orange M&M. &M. So yellow M&M &M first. That's a miss. Orange M&M, &M, 17, I assume, is a hit. 
Um, versus expertise. I'm the orange M&M, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, orange M&M hits my expertise. So I was like, who the hell is okay. orange M&M? Uh, so you, you take six damage, uh, and you have a 10 foot bind applied to you as you get like a little jolt that kind of like shakes, you know, like, uh, like a little mini tase. Um, we're going to have two shots at the blue M&M. All right. Okay. We got a 17 and a 19. Crits don't matter. Oh, Hang on. Hang on. Party full of healers. Okay. I got hit and no one can heal me. You're too far away. You're too far away. Uh, Y'all fucking suck. <laughs> 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 we all made sure to run as far away as possible from each other. Quick. I saw that. Get out. That's why this is why I'm trying to get these things closer together. <laughs> the names don't fucking count. It's us. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't move. Then your turn. Okay, so no, uh, so so <laughs> Steven has been hit two times. Yeah. Presumably. Oh geez. Well I heal Steven. Gosh, it's an yeah. interesting question. Yeah. Those are both hits. Uh yeah. Yeah, you can be close okay, so... to a bunch of people. We can't <laughs> You're the one that's uh, everywhere. Hey, I made a macro for this. Hey. <laughs> Hi oh <laughs> nice. Okay, nice so that's macro. all the damage. Unless six fatigues you, I don't know. It might. Um, it does not. Okay. Well, reassuring. Uh, so yeah. So you you end up not taking anything, but you do have twenty feet of bind on you as you get hit by like a couple of these taser rounds. Oh man. Um, okay. And then we'll do one shot each. So one against Marco. And one against Todd. Uh, and those are identical. So, uh, if 18s versus expertise hit you, uh, that'll be six damage on each of you. Uh, Todd. It does. I'm uh, gonna. So I'll I'll play pain suppression. I'm gonna. I'm okay. gonna. No, no. I'm gonna heal you. Let Let me heal you. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is. There is. Hold what, what, still. <laughs> what is uh What is the enhanced attack? Uh, um. Two. Two. We're on enhanced attack two. Okay. So my expertise plus vitality uh, is 11 times 1.5 uh, is 16. So you heal 16 and you gain the, and which means your next attack will deal 10 extra damage because you only have 6 damage marked on you. I took the thing that, I took the thing where the extra, the, uh, the, the extra damage is dealt as. Uh... Well, I have oh. 7 damage yeah, yeah. plus 6. At thirteen damage. You had you Steven, took thirteen. I, I manifested you. Oh yeah, because oh, we nice. got we got hit. Right, 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 right. Well, you 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 heal sixteen and the rest is uh... three. Uh, plus three. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Hey Josh, I assume it says when mana when it says manifest in that ally, it does not mean create manifestation station, but rather that that ally becomes kind of a manifestation. Yes. But, okay. Yes, yeah. So if w when you manifest in that ally, that means that you can use them as the origin of your powers mm -hmm. until uh, the end of your next activation. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yes, and my character's catchphrase is, stop hitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Glorious. All right. Well done. Uh, so this guy with a sword is the one by Todd is going to try to hit Todd. That's a miss. All right. Uh, this one is going to come in and take a swing at Steven. Oh, dear. Crit. Wow. Again. All right. So <laughs> that Gross. is uh, 12, 20 damage. Oh, gross. Okay. There it is again. <laughs> there it is again. What? You get healed for 12. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> So I take a fatigue. Uh huh. And I'm at uh, eight. Yep. I, I mean, I've taken eight. I'm adding eight to my six. Okay. Um, and now we've got this guy. One, two, three, four, five. 
He's going to come in next to you. He can't. He can't. Uh, he can't not. Well, he can't. He can't move far enough and attack because of the sand. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so, yep. Uh, that was all the monsters. So, we are in melee now. So, okay. that is everybody but Marco. Um, and the ranged monsters. Okay. Which m M&M is Marco? The um, red one? Yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah, look at that face. <laughs> checks out. Checks out. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to flee. I'll go. You run away. Okay. <laughs> um, how far can I go? Um, well, you've got to do well, you're in a sand. lot of difficult terrain. First, oh, right. So I that's am in all sand. all your move. <laughs> yeah. Move out of the sand first and then run. Yeah. Genius. <laughs> so if I move one, it gets me to there. Yep. So that's 10. Yep. And then you can do 15 <laughs> got... to get one away. What's that? And then you can move one more, presumably, yeah. depending on what armor you're wearing. Hey, uh, I'm I wearing can't white. See anyone else's... so, I can't see anyone else's health bars. 10. Yeah, they're 15, not. 15. 20. Yeah, mine, mine is dead. I don't know what you're talking about. 30. <clears throat> I do see Marcos. I can see no one. I can see no one's. I can only see my own. I mean, I oh, can't. we can't. I can't I see yours. <laughs> it's okay. Do we really uh, need to watch the bar or watching everyone's bars? Well, I mean, it's a good way to figure out if they're dying. <laughs> we are all healers. Apparently. Would you guys put your shaken value in or your dead value? Shaken. Oh, shaken. 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 Okay. What is All Steve? Right, you ran away. Did you get and what are you what are you at, Steven? What? How much damage How much do you take? Damage? Uh I've yeah. taken fourteen. Okay, so we'll say 14 out of some, something. Out of 28. 28. Now your bar is there. All right. Hey, there's a bar. Wait, I thought you were dead so, at 48. What? It, Steven, why didn't you like super squishy? Didn't you say you were super squishy? Am I confusing you? I'm very squishy. I'll be shaking at 28. I'm half. Ah, shaking. 28. Sorry. Okay, I had 48. Okay. Uh, and then are you going to... Or did you just double run? No, I did not. That's a single run. You can't, you can't go this far. You, you can go. What like, are you talking about? You said it was ten to get out of the sand. It's ten to get out of the sand. Fifteen to get away from him, and then one more. Oh, so you can go like here. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, blast him with some radiant heat. From my glorious golden ass. Um, nice. Yeah. So, do, 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 do. Yeah. So, I'm going to hit him with Guiding Light, which basically I just sort of like, I look at him with a very sincere face. And I'm just like, you know, you should really, you should really step into the light. And I am immediately transformed into, you know, a beatific being made out of wheels and eyeballs and wings. Nice. And then I probably won't even hit him. It's indescribable. I mean, that's why angels always say, do not be afraid. Right. <laughs> because they're yeah, fucking that's terrifying. <laughs> right. that, that's the normal reaction that you would right. have. <laughs> Terror. Uh, okay. So that's 16 damage. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you blast him. Uh, so he's currently in your pristine radiance. And this this sounds like a full-on blast from a church organ. It's in tongues nice. you've never heard or understood. 
Dein okay. Toast, bitte Toast. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Todd. All right. Um, you I'll, already healed? I will bond in anguish. Nice. And uh, I like moment of greatness too, because I mean, why not? Why not moment of greatness when you can? Exactly. There, we're not. We're not judging you. Well. <laughs> well, too bad. <laughs> spell agony. Spell agony doesn't actually do anything, but whatever. Okay, moving on. I'm still doing the other thing. Are we? Oh, no. I rolled a one. Okay. You might want to use one of them, one of them old walkers. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. Why not? Uh, are you going to re-roll the damage or no? Uh, <coughs> uh, no. I didn't even look at the damage, so. Well, I you rolled a result. seven on the D10 before you yeah know, the five that, was, that was pretty good yeah yeah all right we'll, we'll leave the old five, damage we kept that what's the d4 from it is from trial by inquisition oh no okay of any creature. okay you know what that means <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't sure if you you knew about this or not <laughs> i mean there's a lot there's a lot to remember you know, hey. Oh, and uh, I definitely don't know what all of them do. Pristine Radiance. I hit him. He gets. Yeah. I have executed successfully a Pristine Radiance upon him. Okay, so you, you deal 21 damage that guy? Or 16 okay. Or 18 damage that guy? 18. Okay? We're going with 18. And We're going with 18. The next time it would hit. One of the allies, it hits me. So I take that. I take that damage. Uh, is it? Okay. What? Uh, Todd or not Todd? Matt. Okay. Um, since I can't tell how much damage Todd has taken, uh, I'm assuming he's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He I am fine. That's all you can't tell. Oh, look, that guy's got pristine radiance around him now. Oh, handy. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to move this guy to there. Well, teleport that guy to there. Yeah, they are within 50 feet of each other now, so you can align beliefs. You can also <clears throat> teleport up here where the gunmen are um, with manifestations, can go through stuff. I'm not going uh, through I, the grassy knoll. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Yeah, I probably is. I... Or you might want to take cover <laughs> behind the pillar. <laughs> well, also less. trying to uh, trying to be the only one who's healing people. <laughs> yeah. Look, yes, ass. still bitter. <laughs> I've, Todd, and, Todd and I have been healing each other. <laughs> That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what your problem is. Remember when the teacher brought us here? She said, "Pick a buddy," and like. <laughs> <laughs> and then we immediately abandoned each other. <laughs> and I said, okay. "I'm going to go see a giraffe," uh, and you said, "Fuck giraffes." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck giraffe. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Uh, crap. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So that's 50 feet. Nice. Um, Spoilers, I might not be that good at playing healers. That is the... <laughs> I cannot get this to work where it draws the... Uh, I wouldn't worry about line. it. Okay. I'll so, take your word for it. Okay, so uh, Align mm. Beliefs, Moment mm. of Greatness, draw a couple... And uh, mind into matter on top of that. So, where are they? Where are they? Where's the button? There's the button. So, that's a 15 against uh, what's the line beliefs? Expertise? 
Uh, might. A so that's it. Says, is it? A line belief says it's on expertise. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking mind into matter. Yeah, mind into matter is the secondary card. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, sorry. Okay. So uh, this guy and this guy take 19. And then Steven okay. is healed. Steven is healed for 19. Hooray! <laughs> And then these guys uh, swap position with the M&Ms, kind of pushing themselves a little farther away from everybody. All right. So this is plus 19. All right. Yeah. These guys are looking pretty beat up at this point. I'm so glad we brought a Whoop. healer. Um, and then I will, uh, oh, God. <laughs> they are that in day. And then I will uh, no, gather okay. courage and recreate uh, by destroyed manifestation. Oh God! Okay, draw all over the map. Oh. How much did you did you heal me for? Nineteen. More than your damage taken, so okay. you're at one. Your How does nineteen work for you? Uh, that's oh, amazing. That, Thank you. I oh. forgot to add the three that Marco gave me to this bad guy. <laughs> the guy at the bottom has yeah. three extra. Yeah. Uh oh. Then when he is teleported backwards, he topples over unconscious. Hooray! Ah. Okay, and I'll create a manifestation. Your web, uh, by the way. <laughs> like Varish? Are we? Varish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh. Can your this, manifestations. Before attack? this guy passes out, he's going to take a swing at Todd. Uh, so that's going to be 12 versus your might defense. All right. Uh, that is a glance. All right. So you take seven. Okay. I will reduce that damage by half of your current damage. Oh, I don't have any. Okay. I take seven. Wait. Yep. Wait. You, you were about to take damage? Well, I take it. Take seven. He does take it. Right. Oh, do you, uh, would, you, would you like to gain a bunch of extra damage, Todd? Imbue courage. <laughs> so much healing. <laughs> I mean, do you need to? I'd rather, I'd rather take. Uh, I don't need to be healed. No. Okay. But you might as well get the damage buff if you're gonna. All right. Here is. Oh, I gave, I gave it. I literally gave it to you on cockatrice. It is now the card is now yours forever. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my card back, please? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you. Uh, there you go. Whatever, whatever change is uh, is. Uh, changes. Yeah, you you get as extra damage. I don't know. Nice. Okay. Well, in that uh, case, so... I won't give you imbue courage. Yeah, I mean, I should be I should be using the reactive defenses whenever possible because I gave the extra damage, especially when people are low right. are still high on life. After that. All bets. All right. This M&M is, this yellow M&M is brutally destroyed. Uh, I don't know what, what are you talking about? This, uh, this, this guy over here, like, just slices it in half. Um, oh, dear. Sorry, everyman. Um, this guy next to you can actually attack now. Or did, did you, were you going to move? No, you got me I correct. Got I gathered courage instead. That's right. That's what I was doing. I was figuring out how much my gather courage hmm. value is. Six. Oh, yeah. I and you also need to do that. Okay. Uh, so you take it is nine six. damage uh, when this guy hits you with this big kind of like fish club thing. Um, mm. Not a sandwich, but it could be. <laughs> uh, it'll kind of just push you back into the sand a little farther. Fish That's club. fine. I think that gives me cover from a couple of these schmucks. Uh <laughs> Mickey. Uh, it does put you in range also of, of Steven. I don't know if you've got... I think you still have a heal. You can finally reciprocate. Someone can heal Matt. Oh. Steven? Um, <laughs> huh. anyway, I, do, I yeah. actually could have healed somebody for seven when I got hit. I How far I could away? Hit. 40 feet. Oh, dang. So I could have healed you for seven. I had zero at that point. Oh, okay. Well, then. I guess this would help me for seven. Point. I have this six damage marked on. 
Okay. I don't see that. All right. Uh, so that guy went. Uh, is he gonna? Uh, yeah, this guy will try to move. Um, one, two, three, four. All right, so he'll just move back adjacent. Uh, see you. He's just chasing you. Are you in range um, now? No. Damn it. <laughs> so these guy, this guy doesn't have a shot. He's gonna try to like shuffle around to the other side of this pillar. Uh, this guy is going to take a shot at the red M&M. Marco, 18. Uh, yeah, 18 makes time, I think. Oh, yeah, you guys had vines on you that I think we just ignored slash forgot about. I mean, so I, my, I remember my, those next round. I move. Oh, I, I didn't, didn't move. move. <laughs> yeah. I move. Uh, my, my, my speed is like 60 feet, so I can kind of get whatever I want uh, regardless of the vine, but... Uh, okay. by that, does being smacked by that guy eat up my bind? No. Ah. Damn it. Oh, actually, yes. How much bind did you have on you? 10 feet? Ten, yeah, 10 feet. All right, well, it should have. We'll just cancel it all out uh, because then you wouldn't have been able to get healed by Steven and all that stuff. All right. So we're not going to do like a, a big rolling retcon. Uh, but yes, okay. it should have. How uh, much did I get healed for, Stephen? What? How much, How much did you I get, get healed, healed for? for? Wait, when did I heal him? <laughs> and with what? <laughs> I thought you used your reactive heal. I don't have that. a reactive heal. Everybody your <laughs> imbue courage? Infuse courage? No, infuse is mine. Imbue courage is Steve. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to imbue courage, courage on Todd. No one yeah, seemed to... He didn't want it. No. no, no, no. Do Matt. Do Matt. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Hmm. Um, heal that ally for my my plus vitality. Uh, are we on what? If we are on two. two. All right. So one and a half my vite plus. <laughs> My vitality, which will be quite a bit. Um, but it, boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> All right, so my might is somewhere on this page, presumably. Okay. <laughs> Too many martinis. It's one and a half times 12. Okay. Sorry. It's, it's, a lot. One, and a half, it's one and a half times eight. 12. So 12. Okay, yes, 12. 12. <laughs> Look, I knew 12 oh. was in the mix somewhere. Oh, I have another drink. Yeah. <laughs> We're proud of you, Stephen. Good, good job. Look, math is hard. Okay. Um, so we're going to have... Let's go shopping. Uh, so we're going to do... The SS. Now, one shot did... So is that last 18? That was against Marco, right? Sure. Okay, so we just hit Marco for six. So now there's going to be one against Todd. 16 versus expertise. Yes. Okay, so that's six and a 10 foot bind. Um, this guy <laughs> back here, he'll try to shoot this yellow M&M. Success. Um, right here. We'll have one shot against Matt. That hits my expertise. Uh, Marco has some damage on him. Yeah, I'm on uh, damage. 13 does or does not hit your expertise? It does hit my expertise. So I take okay, so that's six damage in six. a bind. Where are you? Uh, I'm the, the orange m, &M. Um, Let's see if I can do something about that. I am 25 feet from you. I cannot. Dang. It's okay. All right. We'll clump up better soon. All right. And then there are going to be two more shots. I, it's not the distance. I just want to throw against Steven. What? Okay. So we've got a 10 versus aim. Uh, or 10 versus, 10 versus expertise. expertise. I assume that's a glance. Yeah. Uh, yes. And a 15. And a 15 is a hit. Okay. So you're going to get a 10 foot blind. 
you got a three damage and a six damage. So nine total, but but not all at once for the purpose of fatigue. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, so now we are at Marco. Nice. Uh, these idiots are still far apart from each other, right? Yeah, barely out of range. Oh well. I will be moving here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use uh, a sad well, memory. Remember that, remember that Todd is a legal origin of your attacks right now. Right? Because you healed him? So you're manifesting in him? No, I don't know. I have a mimetic infection. So I, I need the two enemies oh, to be okay. within a 35 foot blast and they're 40 foot apart, 40 feet apart. Uh, taste it. Yeah, it's not, it's not, no bueno. Uh, I, I do have a moment of greatness, which uh, drew into me, me into two more defenses. So I will uh, not uh, actually <laughs> combo anything with this mimetic attack. <laughs> and that, uh, and be sad. Uh, and uh, each target gains bonus resistance equal to the number of targets on this attack. Is that on the damage or is that uh, why did they do That's that? That's damage. It's damage. Resistance is damage. Uh, does a thirteen hit their uh, expertise? Yes. Uh, so they will. Uh, he will take nine damage. I need to tell, okay. tell, uh, tell the thing to round down here. And uh, uh, also, who wants to get heal for 13, the, like, uh, within Mother Todd, and gain the extra damage as... Uh... I would. You are too far away. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I, can, I can hit you, actually, though. Do you, if, I, I, yeah, I, I, Todd already has a bonus. Todd already has bonus damage. Right. So I have put myself here, and that will hit both of you. Sure. Yeah, I've, I've only I've only got six damage on me, but I wouldn't mind having zero. But it seems like Steve is uh, in a kind of in a worse spot. Well, percentage wise, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, heal nine and gain the rest uh, as. Uh... Actually, I had, I only have both of you. I think. I absolutely. So basically, heal... the the more things you hit, the less the less damage it does to each one. No, no, that's fine. Uh, Right. When an ally is included in the area of one of my class attack, that ally is healed for ten for uh, for ten. That's my class benefit. Nice. Oh. Okay. So yeah. uh, Steve heal ten. Yep. And uh, mm -hmm. Matt, you heal eight. And uh, that is great. And uh, gain the rest as bonus damage. And the bo and the monster Perfect. takes eight. I have two bonus damage. Then I'm going to use it all on something. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. There you go. It is now okay. also, I'm assuming this was, uh, uh, did that give you, did you have any leftover, Steve? Uh, From the 10 that I healed you with? I had one leftover, but that's for my fatigue. Fatigue, value. okay, never mind, never mind then. Uh, I will then uh, uh, gather courage to replenish my manifestation. <laughs> uh... Here is the idiot. Idiot. I will uh, place said idiot. How about here? Sure. Because I am uh, okay. close enough to everybody you have else. Any damage on you, Marco? Uh, I have currently. I think. Uh, did you end up healing? Yes. I mean, I'm healing it all now with uh, with this gather courage, which uh, right. I can do for free thanks to my. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? You go face down. Uh, that's my movement action because I have a uh, healing factor. So I get to gather cards for free every time. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. When the green M&M appears on the field, it's like full wolf saxophone. Like, ba <laughs> 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 Okay. Uh, okay, so the end of that activation. Uh, so it'll be... <laughs> <laughs> That'll be Steven and a uh, guy that he has pristine radiance. Huzzah! Okay, I'm going to gather courage. Um, I'm going to gather courage twice, right? 
I can do that. You can, but you only have one damage taken, so I'm not sure where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm trying to hurt them. Don't I do damage to them when I gab gather courage? That's a flagellant. I think you had the wrong card. God that's, that's damn it. it. <laughs> you, you've chosen a completely separate character. Uh, all right, fine. But I can then apply Pristine Radiance to myself. You can attack. If you want to damage them, you probably have to attack them. What? If you want to damage your enemies, you probably oh. have to attack them. Yes, that is that is the case. Okay. Correct. I like the genuine reaction of uh, uh, surprise to Steven's notion that in order to damage an enemy, he has to attack them. <laughs> Look. <laughs> this is my first time playing a healer. I'm not familiar with the ins and outs of the weaker the intricacies classes. of... <laughs> All right. Uh, Man, I got nothing good here. All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to hit him. He's already within my pristine radiance. So, actually, you know what? Hang on. Is there another creature within 25 feet? Uh, Not another yeah, enemy. There's several. Oh, another enemy. No. Yeah. Does anyone? But there are allies. Uh, and also, do manifestations count as allies? No. What? Why not? Because they aren't. They aren't full fledged entities. Yeah, but why can't I move them around? Like, come on. Because they aren't things. Ridiculous. All right. That's just what he says. Does anyone mm. want to be uh, adjacent to this thing? No. Also, why am I tanking? Uh, Todd. Todd might want to be adjacent to it. I do. You do? Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. 10, 15, 20, 25. Hey, you're even within range. Okay. I have a bind, 10 foot bind. God damn it. <laughs> well, I can get you close. <laughs> um,. Oh, you know what? This says on hit, I can teleport the target to a location within my pristine radiance, so the bind does not matter. Yeah. It teleports ignore binds. Nice. Okay. So playing that, and then I get to draw a card and look at it. Um, and then I get to <laughs> discard a card because I have that weird ability to do so. Um... Hang on just a second. Okay. Wait a tick. There we go. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So Pilgrim's Passage, and hopefully let's 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 hit this. All right. Going up against Mike. All right, 15 versus Might. Uh, yeah. That's a hit? Yep. hi -o. All right. So he takes 14. That's rounded down, right? Yeah. 14, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So okay. uh, he takes 14 damage. And then uh, I move uh, Todd over uh, adjacent. That's dead. Okay. Oh. Well, you're still adjacent. Awesome. Yeah. You're adjacent to a dead guy. Look. <laughs> look what I did. <laughs> Behold I my works, ye mighty in despair. <laughs> This is when I realize I think back and I remember that David Koresh's birth name was Vernon. <laughs> oh, David Koresh. Okay. Vernon. Poor guy. Um, Look, does anyone have uh, any, so uh, abilities that now, Stephen? Unless you're going to move, yeah, 
It is everyone else's turn. Right. Um, am I going to move? Well, I have someone next to me, so that's kind of exciting. <clears throat> I'm going to hang out near them in case bad things happen. Now, okay. how, how do I already, You already had somebody close to you. You had me. You had, well, you know, the fake me. Who, who the hell are you? Hey, I did it. Okay. I am so confused. Okay. Uh, so now it's the everybody else activation. Does anybody have any abilities that shake their that leave their target shaken? No. No. We're squishies. Yeah, okay. I have some yeah, gold. Just asking. It, uh, like that guy just became shaken. So if you have a thing that, like, you want to do reactively instead of him yes. just like passing out, you can you can do that. No. It, I was asking more for planning out. It's because I've got the ability that lets me take, draw an extra two cards and then return two to the top of the deck. Um, oh, okay. Basically choosing what to choosing what to keep in hand. Gotcha. Yeah, I cannot and, uh, make the, anyone shake him. Yeah, and for the shake, it, I control their next activation, so it. Huh. it no. Nah. Nah. Right. So the way that card is is supposed to work is like you you hit someone and then like if it knocks them out you control them right you get to like puppet them temporarily and then they pass out right right neat well a bunch of people where they run away yeah a bunch of people have abilities that leave their that make a target shaken so i was thinking it kind of paired with that yeah but um I mean, if it works with, I mean, if it works with what just happened, I'll definitely send a manifestation over and make that alien that just fell over go over and beat the crap out of his friend. But uh, if that is not that applicable. Card? I have I have other options. It's called uh, vicarious impulse. Okay. I don't think it necessarily. You know, look it up in my master list of all cards. So I don't master. have that one. Totally missed. Okay, so that's yeah, so that's an attack. Um. Okay, yeah. So basically, if you did this because it's an attack, um, like you would be spending your attack to control its next attack. Yeah. Probably net does not is not worth it. The other guy is yeah. looking pretty bad, so yeah. okay. I, I like the other guy was looking pretty much just as bad as the guy who was just knocked out by that hit. Okay, so if you so, hit the other guy, there's a pretty reasonable chance you could get him instead. Was that an actual attack, Marco? Or you it was. Him? Yeah, well, I, 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 I've already moved. I'm trying to attack. I am unleashing a resistible allure from my manifestation to just freeze this game. There's a lot of ones. There is a lot of one. I'm gonna reroll yeah. the d12 and the yeah. d8. I'm gonna hit the four though. Okay. Oh. Improve, improve. Yeah, Sadly, I... I don't get to profit from this sex. So instead, uh, it, I just deal 31 damage. But you know. Solid. All right. <laughs> well, this fun. guy, this guy is uh, felled by a hail of shurikens. Yikes! All right. In that case, I'm going to move through the sand. So ten, ah. twenty, thirty. Oh, there are more idiots. Yeah. Um. This is elevated, right? Yes, like, this is elevated. It's like eight feet. Hmm. Hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, yeah, I can totally do that. So I, I will bring these uh, two manifestations, one to there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 35. Oh, yeah. One to there. <laughs> oh, oh uh, uh, t um, Matt, by the way, <laughs> when it's, I did the attack, <laughs> you were uh, in the area of effect. So I was thinking maybe you get healed for 31 and also get the extra damage as uh, as bonus damage. Dang. Oh God, you know, I don't actually have any damage to be healed, so that would just be 
31. Uh, it's actually <laughs> just it's actually just 17 because I can only crit one person and they crit the enemy. But it, still, to steal, yeah. Oh well, I'll take bonus. 17 bonus damage. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's <that's> um, fine. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I, I will... Uh... I can hit both of them, right? Yeah. Well, what does it say? The text says one creature. That's why I'm asking. Then no. Okay, you only <laughs> oh, get... Fuck. You only get 10 bonus damage. <laughs> I am sorry. Okay. Yeah. Man, 31 to 17 to 10. You know what? I'll still take it. I'm still happy. <laughs> um, you drive a hard bargain, Marco. Uh, all right, align beliefs. We're finally finally there. Uh, that's probably going to be a case for uh, mostly a reroll. Um, so I'm assuming a name of ten doesn't. Does a name of ten hit these guys? Is uh, what you call it? Expertise. Uh, <laughs> regardless of what you call it, the answer is no. All right. Well, I'm going to leave. I'll reroll the d12 and the d8, but I'm going to leave that ten on the damage because boy howdy. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> What's what a D12 plus six? Yeah, D12 plus six. Uh, I didn't put a space. They rendered their D10 in the 3D dice with a 10 on it instead of a zero. Uh, interesting. So, that's not does, confusing. Well, I mean, that's uh, better. Does an, 11 but... hit, does an 11 hit their expertise? It does not. Yeah, well, here goes, here goes another luck down. I got oh, no. Well, that's why you have luck, is for dumb things like this. Yep. Hey, that's better. Does a 14 hit their expertise? It does. Great. Um, so they take, what? Jesus. So it's <laughs> 22 plus, so they take, those two guys take 32 damage. Okay. Well, wow. they are ruined. They are no more. Moat. And uh, that hmm. is my turn. Move and attack. Josh, I have a question. All right. Is a line believe supposed to say each enemy? Or is that yes. just... Uh, or is it supposed to say each creature? Man, you drive a hard bargain. It's really hard for me to yell somebody and hurt somebody in the same turn. A line believes... Uh, yeah. Yes. That's the answer. The answer <laughs> is yes, it says enemy on purpose. <laughs> okay. Um, but if there's if there's one ally in there, they do get healed. That's they, the they get they get healed for ten, yeah, because of my other power. But no, uh... no it always says choose an origin or ally. Oh. attack, heal them for the damage dealt to any single target. Oh, okay, never mind. M move on. <laughs> I may not. Have it's important to read the literacy. entire card, Marco. <laughs> you but there's a lot of text. <laughs> 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 oh dear! <laughs> Says the guy Work who was hard so quick. For a um, hmm. yeah, one in, in one in, in billions of. Uh, so it's a good thing none of us are lawyers. I'll just <laughs> just put that out there. The uh, okay. Is anyone else moving? Right now, so Did you just Todd say... has oh. yet to go. I have yet what? to go. What? <laughs> what? Poor Todd. <laughs> Sorry, it sounded like Josh was talking and then he inter interrupted himself. <laughs> I feel like oh. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> Uh, so 20, 20, 30. I basically can get to there and then mm -hmm. maybe climb the wall. Hmm. I have 10 feet left. Eight, eight feet's fairly high up. I don't know how, running, how you get up there. Run and jump. Do you, are you training strength? I'm training grace. Uh, don't you have effortless aptitude? I do have that as well. Uh, so for, what, for what it's worth, uh, uh, I have uh, gecko grip, so I can give you oppies eventually. But 
Puppies. So if you're if you're um yeah, if you're not trained in strength, you get to roll two D eight. Yeah. I've rolled one. I've rolled an eight and a one. All right. <laughs> All right. Average. Um, <laughs> Might end up okay. scrambling. On I the mean, wall. that's that's enough that you can like, <laughs> you can't leap up eight feet, but that's enough that you can kind of like get yourself up and like roll onto the, <laughs> you know, like, roll onto the ledge here. Uh, roll gracefully there. onto the ledge. I'm just laying. Down I mean, you you it. stand again when you get to the top, right? So you like. <laughs> You make it to the top, but you don't make it is like a nine foot bounding leap. You kind of like <laughs> hop up and then roll onto your feet. Well, there's and a then part you of my need claws are just scraping right? the top of it for a minute, like ah, and yeah. they catch. <laughs> I did it, Yahtzee. <laughs> okay, you do like a full like Olympian, like hands oh. in the air, wave to the crowd. Uh, so now we've got these guys over here. Uh, these guys are like freaking Wait, out. They're gonna take it. I didn't get to go yet. Uh, yes, you did. What? So, uh, <laughs> it, it was you were in the first part of the act, you were in the first activation. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, so this guy, uh, on the right, he's gonna take a shot at Todd. That's gonna be minion attack one. Uh, so it's gonna hit you for six damage and a ten foot bind. This Me? guy back here is gonna turn around and shoot at the yellow M M and N behind him. Okay. Uh, I think that's a miss. No, it's not. It's a three, so it's a glance. Okay. We'll kill that yellow M and M. Damage one, two. I can heal somebody what? for six. I'm just gonna heal. Uh. I can heal Matt or Steven six damage when that happens. No, neither of them is damaged. Okay. Um, yeah, my manifestation will just take be destroyed. A couple of shots. So this one, I guess we'll do one shot at actual Matt. <laughs> uh, six damage in a bind. One shot at green M&M. Uh, that will destroy green M&M. No, my green M&M. Oh, uh, and then we've got Milady. A shot at uh, Stephen. Are you sitting on the floor? Yes. Why? Okay. Just and we got. A, I guess we'll it. have a couple of them. Since you've come up the wall now, we'll take a couple of shots <laughs> at at Todd as well. Nice. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's two more hits. So you've got a, you've got thirty feet of bind on you right now. God damn! Uh, as you... Oh, we lost Josh. That's my whole movement. Yep, you did. did. Yeah. Oh, you're back. Okay. Oh, I can heal back. people for six, or one person for twelve. Okay, can be uh, bad. Yeah, I'll take. I have six damage. That would be handy. So, um. <laughs> I laugh. I laugh. Nobody is in melee right now. It's invigorating. Hmm. I have a manifestation <laughs> in melee. That doesn't count. Uh, uh, so yeah, everybody. Real people continues to cramp my style. Yeah. Everyone scrum. Okay. Um, I'm Yum, gonna. Scrum. I don't think I have any way to move extra far. Um. So, I might just double move. <sighs> yep. All right, Steven, you figure out where you're moving. Yep. Uh, I'm going to double move. Uh, one second. I'm drawing. Okay. Um, so, I spend my whole movement... Uh, Getting it together to break Getting a together. Getting unbound. And then I'll railing vortex the rest of the way. All right. Uh, so let me make sure my movement is 30. Like, yeah, it is. All right. So uh, I send my movement to 30 and then 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I take half of 25, which is Hell yeah. 12, 12. 12, I assume. Yep. 15. And then, uh, does this thing hurt? It's not hurt, right? So. No. Just attack. Just leap upon it. Oh, it is. For you just 19. crush it with your claws. Just rip it apart. Saber tooth style. I don't think I clear that wall. <laughs> Clunk. <laughs> uh, so Why are you rolling two, D6s? Four, don't six, I get 2D... Eight. Oh, is it 2D8? Yes. After quoting that to you, chapter yeah. and verse, I immediately forgot what it was. Yeah. Sounds like me. Okay. God damn it. All right. Uh, it was here. Okay, that's pretty good. You you make like a bounding leap. Uh, like you don't you, you don't make a, like a standing leap onto the wall, but uh, you get up like high enough that you can basically get like a foot up there. Nice. Uh, and like pull yourself up. That's um, how it's done. Uh, I I don't get to make it all the way up to the wall, sadly, but I do get to be uh, about. Uh, I'm I'm like. I'm six feet up the wall, basically, and I'm just going to cling there for the rest of the turn, which I can do because I have a, a gecko grip. Nice. Oh, but that's important because no one can see you because you're stuck to the far side of the wall. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm, though, I might just double move. Uh, yeah, that's what I did. Uh, actually... I am actually close enough that can I make my manifestation because I have make my manifestation can I make my manifestation here and just stick my head out to see these idiots and uh, and the line believe well that's too far away but like and the line believes them are you talking about us when you say idiots no <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about you're gonna have to be more specific I'm talking about the these two idiots. The, these idiots, and it's not. No, not both of them. You you can't draw the line through the center of both those guys from where you are. Not to the center. You're, well, not through. <laughs> you, you just can't hit them. Uh, okay. <laughs> but can Hannah Line believe? Hannah Line believes through one, though. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna align believes through the one closing to me then. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's uh, the wrong thing. Again, um, cheer on the team. Does 13 okay. hit their expertise? It does. And 13 damage is enough to destroy it. As a... It crumples to the ground, screaming, I will, clutching uh... its head. I will uh, then uh, stick my head back down so that I have a cover. <laughs> when evil rears its ugly head, so Robin bravely turned and fled. To be fair, I'm literally exactly. walking towards them. It's uh, they're just a wall. <laughs> so are you currently above or below the wall? I'm currently clinging like to the, the wall. I couldn't clear the whole wall. I only yeah, he, I got to the feet of the wall and I only had six six feet of movement left. He's bravely okay. clinging to the side of the trench. All right, Matt, how about you? I am counting out <laughs> squares, Distance. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Ugh, I can't quite get there. Um, And you have a 10-foot uh, mind, right? Yeah, I have a 10 foot. Well, I was just trying to see if I could just manifest and just obliterate some schmucks, but uh, mm. yeah. Um, I really thought I had that figured out. Uh, okay, so I will I'll teleport one manifestation to there. I will gather courage to make another, which I will deal with. Uh, I'll put it on the board. Well, I probably I could I need it now. I do crap. Um, um, I don't know what, what works well. Derish. Um, and I'm going to 
uh, I'll do fundamental aversion onto that guy right there from okay. this manifestation. Okay. That's a miss. And you know what? I really don't care enough to reroll it. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. So, um, this guy can see, uh, let's say, the right M&M. &M. Uh, that's going to be a hit. So we'll shoot this right M&M. &M. Uh, this one over here. How much damage do you have on you, Marco? None. I thought he just hit you. No, oh, they can't hit me. I'm like on the other side of the wall. They shouldn't be able to shoot and have a line of sight to me. No, they don't. So who are, who are they uh, shooting, Josh? The yellow They're shooting M &M. manifestation. Oh, manifestation. Yellow M &M. Yeah, this guy, oh, okay. th this eight is a miss on the green M&M. &M. Um, and then and I guess these two, one of them will try to shoot the blue M&M &M, and one of them will shoot the remaining yellow M&M. &M. Oh, no. So yellow first. Or... Uh, yeah, uh, is 11, uh, yeah, 11 is a four and one more. That's against the blue M&M, 14 versus your expertise. Oh no. Um, I think that's exactly a hit. Let me see. Uh, 14 versus expertise. Yeah, that's exactly a hit. <laughs> you take six and you have a 10 foot bind. All I right. Take what? Uh, so six. six. Marco was coughing. Six. 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 Ten foot bind. All right. Uh, everybody go again. Okay. I cannot see my character or move to be able to see them because roll 20 is completely broken. Oh, come on. Come off it. I just want to add damage. This is when having an aligned beliefs in hand would be great, but I don't. So I'm just gonna, I guess, move here and then my manifestation is going to try to clear this idiot out as well. I have a ten. Okay. Ten. I am a bon ex expelling agony. Gross. Here's your, here's your agony. So, uh, it's a good amount of agony. Okay, that guy is ruined. How does nice. some 19s work for you? <laughs> Another double 19s. Dramatic. Speaking of 11, uh, I'm assuming this guy is also not doing too well. Uh, uh, yeah, that guy is messed up. All right, Steven, Matt. Uh, I don't actually know what I can do. Um, just gotta hook um, it. Yeah, but I can't because I have a ten foot bind. Well, you nice. just... hook it the remaining amount. Twenty. You just moved twenty. <laughs> yeah. Then maybe some more. Well, I guess it can move forty if I double move. Well, it's it only applies one. So you're, oh, right. Yeah. So you can move 50 if you double. Yeah, but they'll be dead before I get to go. Um, but I can at least get it close to folks. So yeah. I did I'm offer so uppies. Up nobody took me up on it. Mm. What? Okay. I, I did offer oh. uppies, but nobody was like, hey, I want uppies. None of us wanted to be treated like a toddler. 40, 45. Yeah. 50. I. Hey. I just want to try it's to get as up far as I can double move. Okay. I just want to get up onto the elevated area. So it's 10 feet to get rid of the bind, which leaves me with 20 feet. So 10 feet. And then what's the roll to try to go up? Strength. I believe we call that a D12. Um, <laughs> Where I come from, it's one D12. So I just get a six. Yeah. Uh, you kind of like, you don't make it, basically. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Can I help you in any way? If you move again, you can try again. He doesn't but, really need yeah. to be there, though, because he can do everything through manifestations. 
it's true. You can just hide there and gather courage a couple times. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I want to be out of the difficult move area for when mm. the next encounter starts and it's, you know, down the, the sandworm comes out of the pit. and you're still <laughs> um, You weren't supposed to know about the sandworm. <laughs> Everybody knows about the sandworm. Um, yeah, I'll just go to try to move again. Yeah, same result. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Kind of uh, flailing your legs. Pretty much. <laughs> You're sinking in the sand. Sandworms! <laughs> You're freaking Please yourself out. Please, God, not the sandworms. <laughs> We're all like, Why what? is it always what the hell sandworms? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, these guys are going to take a couple shots at Marco. He's the closest, and he's in the way of the others. I'm using him as a... That looks like a use to me. Reasonable. Uh, okay, so <laughs> you take uh, six damage, and... Uh, you it four, 14 is a, is a glance on my... Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, My, my expertise defense is 16. Holy crap. You love high expertise characters. I mean, uh, I don't, okay. but, like, my last two characters just happened. For what's his name, I was doing a high might character. But the high expertise is nice. <laughs> I then okay. put all my points into expertise for this one. Just most okay. of them. So you take three. Um, and that's it. So, yeah, you guys should be able to mop these two uh, chumps up, I would assume. Um, we'll he actually, it. he's adjacent to me, so he takes nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, t you take no damage. If I draw an align beliefs to just clear... Uh, oh, you haven't drawn anything. I did. So... Let's, uh, let's laser these idiots. Uh, and by which I mean we're going to... Fight off... Uh, a bunch of uh, ninja stars and other assorted uh, weaponry in, in a line between uh, me and also me. Um... <laughs> How does this 15 look uh, against expertise? Pretty good. Is 12 good? 12 is good. All right. They, All right, they are destroyed. Uh... Sorry. I was trying to drive draw a polygon and have really fucked everything up uh, i mean the mr sparkle re uh, rendering it probably is not that bad actually <laughs> you can move them around individually uh, that's fair yeah oh uh, yeah that might not be a bad way to do it um okay so yep they are destroyed oh. okay so you defeat this wave of of aliens oh, um no. he said wave I am an embodiment of all consciousness and intelligence for our planet, and I could use hand getting up this wall. <laughs> yeah. Gird your loins. It's sandworms, everyone. Yeah, I can come over here and, like, lay down on the thing and hold my arm no, down. No, then you'll get out you? of my... Per you're out of my pristine radiance if you do that. Well, nothing's happening. It's fine. <laughs> no! It's... It's... These are the Candiru sandworms. And... <laughs> what is with your obsession <laughs> with Candiru? <laughs> They're coming for his urethra, and we have to abandon them to his state. Okay. Josh, do I have to roll for this, or is it just... <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're fine. Wait, you, 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 you get up here. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's what I've been dreaming of my whole life. Is that might or expertise? <laughs> That's vitality. That's Can we down. heal as well? Do we get to heal or not? Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is like a break between counters. You do your standard amount of luck regeneration. Okay. Which is a third uh, round. And you can go down to your fatigue value. Oh, hmm. huzzah. It's a third rounded down luck regeneration. Third uh, round. Yeah. I assume my pristine radiance is gone. No, you can, you can maintain it. It's fine. Uh, don't yeah. worry about it. Every I turn. Don't, <laughs> yes. I, don't, I don't believe you. Mark. Uh, someone, I think, Steven, you have a fatigue. What? Yes, oh, no, I did. I, that is true. I did take a fatigue. <clears throat> but only uh, the okay. One. 
Um, Todd. Yes. This character is really hard to play. <laughs> I, I feel for. Um, I uh, am impressed Matt. with your ability to rock a uh, adherent. Well, this you. is very complicated. <laughs> but Matt having to count all the time. <laughs> I was like, oh, I remember those uh, spiritualist turns where it's like <laughs> putting this guy over here and this guy yeah. over here. That's why I only wanted like, uh, I can't remember, I think I had four of them or five. Or uh, like yeah, you, had, you had four and then you just decided four? to stop putting points in vitality because you didn't want yeah, to get yeah. more idiots. I was cons like, That's actually part of the reason they wanted to like try and uh, try and try that character originally because it was like... <laughs> What if I just get a character that can make seven idiots? What I'm happens? Sorry. Like how? I just how ate a piece of watermelon that was soaking in this, and it is just pure alcohol. <laughs> it's not like an olive; it Thanks. doesn't resist. <laughs> Thanks for the update. <laughs> it's a sponge of alcohol. <laughs> like you're a sponge of alcohol. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. look. <laughs> the, the <laughs> The, the answer, Marco, is that you overwhelm yourself. <laughs> I think, like, I like I, I knew that the plurality build was like the most <laughs> the most complicated possible. Yeah, yeah. like it, it's just like the most logistically heavy class. Yeah, exactly. Like if um, you have any kind of like analysis paralysis, you're probably just dead in the water. Yeah, just pick a different class, right? Like. You, there are four other kinds of healers that do not have this. <laughs> no, I, 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 I know, but I wanted, I wanted to experience it, right? Like it's gonna be like one or two sessions. It was like, but yeah. Matt, Matt was already into it, so I'm, instead I have only a supply of idiots that is uh, much reduced. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. So it's ten thirty-five. Do we want to? start the next encounter or not do it so there are two more encounters these are all like we're, we're basically just gonna run the same three encounters for sure. sets of four uh do we want to do the yeah. next two since we did all of our intro stuff this week we'll just run through the next two encounters starting yeah. with the next combat starting next week i will actually be on good. time maybe mm. look yep. <laughs> let's not go crazy marco yeah <laughs> you're you're right you can't cash <laughs> whose turn is it to be whose turn is it to be cooking at the start of next game? Oh, uh, that'll probably be me. Yeah. <laughs> Still me, see, probably. Yeah, Steve, I want you to see out I want you to be out in front of a fire, just something slowly turning over your spit. <laughs> okay, I, know, no, I know you've got I mean, something. I know you've got something. Yeah, I, I have a I have a lamb on order. It's coming in next week. Well, it's I, dead. I'm, I mean not in time to enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, the live lamb is strange. Um. There's a there's a butcher place not far from me, but they don't have lambs. They only have buffalo, and I can't eat an entire buffalo. <laughs> not with that attitude. A, wait, wait, <laughs> wait. There's a butcher near you, and all they do is buffalo. No, no, no. That's not all they do. That's all they have right now. Okay. They do other oh. things. Yeah. No. no, I took away the same thing as Matt, and you were <laughs> blowing my mind. This is, not, this is not a buffalo exclusive butcher. How the hell butcher. is this yeah. business? <laughs> no, no, no. They, all they have right now is buffalo. I miss the, the lamb season. Yeah. This is not a buffalo butchery. Yeah. Also, um, I, I should point out um, that uh, someone... Uh, thanked me for my service the other day based off of one of my hats, which is from, from a ham shop that just kind <laughs> of vague, it vaguely looks like one of those, uh, like, uh, you know, like, navy. you're welcome. I just love ham. Yeah, I just, mm. yeah, thank you for your service. I love ham too. Yeah. <laughs> It was a, an amazing experience. I did not how to. I did not know how to deal with it. <laughs> you can't be in the service with that huge beard. Yeah, I know. Well, well okay. It's special Look, forces. <laughs> I looked it up. Yeah, I can either be an operator or I can be a sapper in the uh, French Foreign Legion. 
Oh, there you because go. Because if you're, yeah, if you're a sapper for the French Foreign Legion, you're allowed to have a full beard. They also have dress axes, which, I mean, that's the sexiest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Like, <laughs> I just encountered a great search engine malfunction. I was searching. I searched for butcher near me. Okay. The first result is a pediatrician. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm what what do you think? <laughs> what do you think that was supposed to do? The old I, sawbones. I, I am not sure how they. I am That's... reading. I am now reading their Yelp reviews to try to see where the butcher <laughs> came in. I I brought in a perfectly good baby. And <laughs> all I got back was five pounds of ground chuck. <laughs> Yeah, I sometimes you just wonder if, you know, they hired out for that page and the person <laughs> doing their SEO just okay. wanted to have a good time. Yeah. One of the <laughs> one of the doctors there is Dr. Brian K. Butcher. So there you go. What? That's why. No, that is Pediatrics at Oyster Point. Yeah. Go. Look, can... we're not living in a uh Lemony Snicket novel. <laughs> Oh, there's three doctors there. The innocent one is Dr. Baust. It's Dr. Baust, Dr. Payne, and Dr. Butcher. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? This is honestly, like, this is a promoter and a tag team. <laughs> like... Like, Dr. If, if Dr. Payne isn't already a professional wrestler, he will be before the decade is out. <laughs> first, first off, so first off, I mean, it is Thomas my, Payne. So yeah, extra points there. My um my elementary school um music teacher, her given Christian name was Melody Harmon. Because I live in a Roll Doll novel. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just hit it on the nose. <laughs> Benjamin's Benjamin's teacher is named Kelly Kelly. In for his first grade teacher, first yeah. name Kelly, last name Kelly. Fuck. My. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you remember David, right? Where his nickname was Gus. And I didn't know what his real name was. So, and his last name was Gustin. So I thought he was just Gus Gustin for <laughs> a decade. Uh, my Yeah, but it's the decade when you're the dumbest, right? It was from like... <laughs> <laughs> it's different when you're clearly a dumbass. Yeah, uh, the, yes. no, right. But, you know, it was from like... You know, five to fifteen. Yeah, not... no, that, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the assistant professor. What's, yeah, what's known by pediatrician Doctor Death as <laughs> Thomas? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> the assistant professor to our uh, uh, that was teaching us uh, uh, quantum mechanics uh, when I was doing my undergrad uh, was called uh, Emilio D'Emilio, uh, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> My favorite. Yeah, that is funny in any language. Uh, my favorite, my favorite part, and it was written exactly the same. Like it was Emilio, and then the apostrophe Emilio. Like it was the same. Oh my god! Uh, that's so good. And uh, he was a sign for uh, for the math nerds out there. He was signing himself uh, uh, the Emilio squared over two. <laughs> I, I had a um, I had a professor in college and her name was her last name was St. John, like fully uh, spelled out. So when she got her doctorate, she became Dr. St. John, which is so good. <laughs> nice. I, having a, yeah, having a, having a title in your, in your <laughs> name is interesting. I never really yeah. thought about that. Yep. Kristen St. John. So, uh, Dr. Kristen St. John. <laughs> she was a expert in benthic foraminifera and other exciting things. 
<laughs> and other foraminifera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Well, on the note of foraminifera, I'll yep. talk to you guys next week. Oh, All right. that, that would be a terrifying cool. enemy, by the way, if you needed us to fight something horrifying. Just what authentic fora? A fora money for a. It's it's a okay. Like Are a you flatworm, right? <laughs> what? Isn't it like a flatworm? Like a weird no, flatworm? No, 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 no. They're like uh, no. they're chalk skeleton, uh, little tiny plankton esque things that live at the bottom of the ocean. I uh, it, it was some kind of invertebrate. I thought so, I thought they were like little wormy things. Though. The white cliffs of Dover are made entirely out of formula. All right, fair enough. Yep, fair that's, enough. That's why they call them the White Cliffs of Dover. That's <sighs> that's bullshit. I'm not sure that's correct. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, All right, y'all have a good one. That note. Don't work too hard. Yeah. Mm. yeah. See you, everyone. Bye. Later.